So in today, today's video, I am going to talk about how to trigger PubSub event depending on some condition in, on that record. So let's uh, take some example. We have multiple records which I am displaying and one record having some value on that I need, need not to trigger my PubSub event or I need not to send the data to the my event listener. So let's see how to do that thing. For that, we are having one JSON records already. So I'm having this list of record, which I'm going to display as a custom data in my table. So let's go to the record. So in my custom JSON, I just kept the record, save and fetch. This is just a simple record, which I'm going to display. Okay, I'm having some fields, uh, fields displaying the data in a repetitive manner. These are the only two field name. And this is one of the action. Action on click on that action. I am uh, triggering pop sub event. So I will show you this is the action name. You can check that this is the label name of that action. Go down. There is an action which I am going to triggered from here so the action is custom pub sub event so i will show you that action action the label name is an action even type pub sub we will give some name channel name demo observe and just uh, this thing now here i'm sending the value of id in in id action id is action id of this value and data is a record entire record now in my setup of this thing flex card this is my listener in listener i have done this thing now i need to Put the same name so come back again what is the name of that action we'll copy the channel name from here we'll go to the setup we'll go to setup and this will be the channel name same now what is the action we are going to do we are just updating the uh, same card data with the value of the name. So name field of this card will be updated with the action dot value So in the action Whatever the value we are keeping that will be displayed here. So let's go save this record And let's go and do the preview. What's how this is behaving first of all, we'll see So let's say I'm clicking on this click on demo Now, Okay, so this is wrong this is action value should uh should be as a value which we should populate in my in our pop sub event but we are not populating any value there so there are two way of doing those things so let's go back to our design what we can do we'll go to listener in our card So it should be ID, not value. There is no value parameter there. So we'll check it here, save it. We'll go again to preview. This is game again. We will check. So see right now, if I'll click on this one. So this is one to four coming. If I click on this one, four, five, six is coming. Okay. If I'll click on this one, seven, eight, ten will come now. I want condition then if I click on test three only uh, this condition should be fulfilled otherwise it should not fire pop sub event so let's go and do that thing we'll go to design we'll go to the action now in action I'll put condition add condition 
validation which is the data field the name it should be equals to let's say test 3 then only this is going to fire so there are there will be several scenarios where we can put the condition that on click of which action uh, if the field value is something on a status then only uh, this value will be sent to another uh, flex card so it will be useful there so now let's go to preview preview see now if i'm clicking on this nothing is happening if i'm clicking on this nothing is happening if i'm clicking on this nothing is happening here even nothing is getting fired here if i'm clicking here on this it should get fired so let's see what will happen see see now if i'm clicking let me clear the log again see this is getting fire set value is getting fire and pubsub is getting fire so if you see in the pubsub you are making id as a 789 and the data field you are sending this entire data record so you can do any kind of different manipulations from internal pubsub event getting fired and you can put some listener to another flex card which can receive the data or the value or some conditional based thing